year, which happens to also be a live stream. Um, it's a live stream because Jaya, our editor, is off today. Our whole team is off. It's New Year. It's vacation. Everyone is like coming off festivity mode. Um, it's currently January 1st, nighttime here in the Philippines. See that? Here's RJ. Happy New Year, my boy squad. Yes. Um, we've just pretty much been doing nothing, like resting. Uh, most of our partying happened last night. How are you guys doing? How was your new year? Was it good? Happy New Year, Mabuhay Squad. Oh, so good. So good to see you. Um, as for me, I just celebrated it online with family, like the rest of the world. Um, you know what? This tripod is not working, so I'm just gonna... Guys, Sorry, 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 guys. Just gonna hold it. Um, like the rest of the world, uh, wasn't in person with my family. It was just through Zoom. Uh, we did the countdown last night here in Manila, and then again this morning um, with my family in Toronto, which was so good. Did any of you guys have to virtually celebrate New Year's for the first time? Let me know in the comments. Is it blur? Glenn Bag says, watched your IG stories last night. Looked like it was quite a party. It definitely was. Had quite a bit of wine, guys. Say Happy New Year, Cypher. Say, say Happy New Year. Yeah. By the way, follow us on Instagram. RJ, what's yours? Apple boy RJ. Yes, and I'm Mikey underscore Bustos. Also, follow me on Twitter. I've been able to respond back to, like, most people on Twitter. It's the best. Because I have the least amount of followers on Twitter, and I can actually see your messages. Happy New Year, guys. Where are you from? Pixie D from Scotland. Hello. Nitty Kevin from Iloilo. Awesome. I just video called my girlfriend, says Renil. Sweet. How Cypher? Someone asked. Bet? Yeah, he's doing better. Mm. So much better. Mm -hmm. You guys will get to see the vlog of last night and this morning. Mm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. We'll be back to regular vlogging schedule uh, tomorrow when everything is running back up. Um, yeah, it was a pretty crazy night. Um, including this, guys. Check this out. You know what this is? You guys know what this is? Can you guess? It is Ferrero Rocher cheesecake. It has all the ingredients of Ferrero Rocher, including like the gold leaf, you know, that wraps the uh, the Ferrero Rocher chocolate. But, but it's like edible. Mm. So, so good. Mm -hmm. The best. Guys, RJ did an awesome spread yesterday. It was crazy. Mm. Okay. So, guys, it's January 1st. So we have a brand new calendar of positive affirmations to do. Isn't this exciting? I'm so happy. Bear, are we drinking today or no? Yeah, we can. What? OMG drinking. All right. What do we have? What is there still wine? No. Uh, champagne. <laughs> OMG champagne. I don't want to get drunk <laughs> in video. Um, oh, people are shooting fireworks right now. Oh, I'm wow. Sure. Okay, wait. Before we go into positive affirmation calendar, let's look at the fireworks. Do you see them from here? Can you actually yeah. see them? Yeah, yeah. OMG, we can. Okay. So for those who don't know, here in the Philippines, Fireworks are legal. There. <laughs> they recently passed a law saying that they can't. There, that way. Like, it just got outlawed, but people aren't listening, I guess. <laughs> Wait, watch. Oh, there, it's all the way. way down there. Do you guys see it? <coughs> Cypher's barking at it. <coughs> see it? <coughs> there were more last night, but like throughout all of here. Um, Cypher was scared of the fireworks. It was his first experience of fireworks. 
But he's okay now. You're okay now, right, yeah, Sice? He's eating. He's eating. Oops. Come on. It's too Did hard. you enjoy your first New Year's? It was a very strange 24 hours for him. He was scared. The whole yeah, he was scared. Yes. <laughs> See, Who are you barking, barking at? Now. Who are you barking at? See, he's he's uh, feeling a lot better. Look, he's using his hind again. Remember how there was a limp? We've limited his exercise, been religious about giving him the bone supplements. One more. Um, five minutes of day, and look at him. He's just... <laughs> Back to our normal size. Soon he will be completely healed. Yeah. Healed. Soon you'll be healed and then we can start traveling again. Yay. Happy New Year, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, guys, let's let's see what our very first positive affirmation of the day is. Of the year 2021. Let's see. I can do it. 2021 calendar. This, by the way, was given courtesy of um, Mabuhay Squad, uh, I Walter, and Gilbert. Walter and Gilbert, yes, sorry, my memory is terrible. Walter and Gilbert, thank you so much for sending this. Um, they also sent us the positive affirmation calendar for 2020, and it was just really beautiful. It became part of the vlogs, and so let's start this year's. All right. Oh, okay, what does this say? Every new year is a wonderful opportunity to accept the prosperity, creativity, and inner peace that we deserve. Affirmations help us see the world as helpful and supportive, oh, as the helpful and supportive place that it is. After reading a statement, take a moment to let the truth of it into your heart. Allow joy to permeate your entire body and your day. Remember, in the words of Louise Hay, Life loves you, and so do I. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, gosh. That's really nice. Okay. I love these positive affirmations. Okay, it says, January. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. And yet, life is ever-changing. Life is never stuck or static or stale. For each moment um, is, ev is ever new and fresh. Every moment of life is a new beginning point. As we move from the old, this moment is a new point of beginning for me right here and right now. All is well in my world. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see. Oh, wow. It's, it's different. Look at the way it's like presented this time. How beautiful. Okay. Friday, January 1st. Sharing who I really am with others thrills my heart. The mystery of me unfolds in, in new ways every day. See that? Again, guys, say it with me. Sharing who I really am with others thrills my heart. The mystery of me unfolds in new ways every day. There you go, guys. Isn't that a beautiful... Oh, I love these positive affirmations. They're the best. All right. So there you go. That's your positive affirmation for the day, guys. Um, RJ, are we, are we gonna have, champ? How about water? Let, let's do water. I had quite a bit of like, here's water. I had quite a bit of of wine yesterday. Cheers, guys. Um, Renal 8 says, I hope you guys will try biking. RJ really wants to, and I want to as well. We have several friends who went to biking. Maybe we will. That would be great. Maybe when we move to the Mabu High Squad farm, we can bike more. Cheers, guys. Yes, cheers, cheers, cheers. How will you integrate positive affirmations on your farms? Well, we will probably have the calendar. We'll probably get the use this when we move this year um but also we'll continue to get more and guys i've also kept our positive affirmations for 2020 oh where are they uh, I kept them. oh rj kept them okay thank god i thought we lost them um i kept them and maybe we might be able to i don't know make a mural out of it or a wallpaper who knows but i've kept those and then we also have the wall of positivity which is our front wall which with staggered panels. Um, our plan was to write 
positive affirmations that you gave or inspiring quotes um, on there. Not sure if they're going to be painted or whatnot, but they will be there. Um, so, you know, positive affirmations will always be a part of our lives and for the future Mabu High School Farm, guys. Yes. So, yeah. Um, what's coming up next? I don't know when we're heading to the farm next. When do you think? This coming week? We're not sure. We'll try, we'll try to go soon. What is your resolution? OMG, that's a good question. RJ, do you have a New Year's resolution? You, you go first. I don't know what mine is. Um, at first I was thinking, uh, like, speak more Tagalog. <laughs> but I wanna do, a, I wanna do a, a resolution that I can actually follow through. <laughs> um, Oh, okay, here's the thing. RJ and I were talking about, guys, about these vlogs. So, all right. As you know, these vlogs have been daily vlogs, right? Every single day we upload. Um, and it's been a wonderful adventure. Every 7 p.m. here in Manila, it goes up. You guys get to watch it. And then you guys wait for the next day's vlog. But the thing... RJ and I have been talking about is content planning. And what I mean by that is like making each video sort of around a certain topic, more topic based, as opposed to like a big like slew of different topics. The reason why a more topic based vlog is better than a slew of topics is because one, it helps with searchability, which helps the channel grow faster. So, um, we were thinking, we were just wondering, let me know what you guys think. If the vlogs, when we move, right, what would you guys think about, yes, quality over quantity. So, having really good quality vlogs, but less frequently. So, maybe three times a week or four times a week. Like, I don't know, Monday, Wednesday... Friday and, I don't know, Saturday. Or maybe three times a week. But each vlog is, like, very beautifully produced. It's, you know, more topic-based. What do you guys think of that? As opposed to, like, a daily vlog where, like, 95% of the vlogs are a big mix of things. And it just makes it hard for the channel to grow. You know what I mean? Like, for example, one, one day's vlog could be about... The chickens, right? Like building a house for the chickens. And that vlog is just about the chickens and maybe a positive affirmation, right? At the end. And then the next day's vlog, two days later, could be about RJ's tablescape, um, you know, uh, of, of the week um, and what he's cooking, things like that. So like that whole vlog. And then maybe two days later, a vlog about the fish pond. Um, and then two days later, a vlog about the aviary, you know, like... Would you guys be okay with something like that? As opposed to every single day where like some of the vlogs are really kind of boring. Yeah, see, someone says, I think it's better because I can't really watch you daily nowadays. And yeah, I feel like a lot, like life is getting really hectic for a lot of people. And so they can't join us every day. Though I do know that a lot of you guys tune in every day. Love from Nepal. Like, see, you guys are from all over the world. Like, all walks of life. Yeah, see, um, K. Gelds Sloot says themed vlogs are better. Uh, do two videos a week on Ants Canada. Yeah, uh, that's another thing. When our team expands for Ants Canada, um, I am hoping to up to two videos a week. That's the dream. It's just really hard right now because, one, the amount of content to film is limited. Um, but when we moved to the Mobu High Squad farm, there's like the outside world, which now is called the Antopia. And there's tons of stuff out there. Like, I don't think we'll ever run out of content. So we'll try to do like both indoor and outdoor ant videos. So yeah, maybe two videos a week might be possible. Um, but yeah, but in terms of this channel, these vlogs, I'm thinking maybe we, we start doing themed vlogs and not as, and not as, uh, 
what's it called? Not not daily. I mean, unless we can, unless our production team becomes so good and so big that we can do like awesome, awesome, awesome vlogs every day. But that's just not possible. <clears throat> right? Don't you guys think? Like, Ants Canada is more quality over quantity. We upload once a week. But we make sure every single video is like Chris. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's polished. It's highly produced, beautifully shot. Um, and look, it's my biggest channel because we've invested in quality over quantity. Um, and this channel is more quantity over quality, sort of. So we're thinking of making that switch just so that Mabuhai squad can grow bigger, right guys? Although 227,000 subscribers is already a big community, um, I think we can go bigger. I think our, our vlogging channel can grow. It's just starting. And I feel like, guys, we can, you know, hit that next level once we move to the Mabuhai Squad Farm um, by investing in quality over quantity. So anyways, that's what I've been thinking. And I'll let you guys think about it too. Let it simmer in your head. Let me know. I will ask again in the future. Although I will admit, I will miss waking up every morning and grabbing the vlogging camera and saying, what's up Mabuhai Squad? Did you sleep well? I will miss that because it's been five years of that already. Can you believe five seasons of daily vlogging? I, I, I don't even know life, what life is like without vlogging. <laughs> you guys have just been part of every single day of our lives. Um, but yeah, I do think quality over quantity is the way to go. So, RJ, we have, we have 143 people watching. Wow. wow. Hi, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes. You guys are from all over Japan. What is your subscriber goal? RJ, what is our subscriber goal? I would, I would love for there to be millions of subscribers on this channel, guys. For sure. Right? Um, but the problem is, our, this channel is just such a mishmash. It's a halo-halo, as they say in Filipino. It's just like a big mix of topics, and it just makes it hard for searchability and really for the channel to grow because people subscribe to the channel for a certain reason. For example, oh, we just got a super chat. Thank you, Richard, for the $5. Thank you. How about do both, he says. Even a 10-minute check-in would be awesome. I'm selfish. I love checking in with you every day. Well, here, here's the thing. For those of you who do like to check in with us every day, you can also um, watch our stories on Instagram. Uh, RJ and I post regularly on our stories and on Instagram. You could do that. Facebook and Twitter. Facebook, Twitter, yeah, all of that. You could keep in touch with us through that way. Um, I don't know. Again, we're just trying to mull things over but i do feel like the channel can be in the millions don't you think like imagine we're like we, we vlog about like farming and maybe travels every now and then i think that would be that would be really cool beautifully shot um you know like we do on ants canada any music coming soon can i make an admission i've been trying to I've started working on an album, but with an album, there's no, uh, how should I say this? There's kind of no uh, timeline. I, sometimes I write an album in like a week, and then other times the album takes like over a year or so. So um, yeah, working on new music. Oh, I wonder if I should like preview it and get your opinions. But no, 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 I'm not going to show it to you. I, I, I want it to be a surprise. The album will just drop. Like, it will be like Lemonade from Beyonce. It'll I'll just be like, oh, by the way, here's an album. It's on Spotify. <laughs> Stream it. Um, so, RJ, what are your plans for this year? What are your hopes? My plans? More uh, the tablescape. Uh, Yay, you have beautiful and, tablescapes. And Aww. I'm so happy you found... I'm so happy he found like this new passion of tablescaping. My relatives are like mind blown. <laughs> yeah. 
and my mom too. My mom's like sending photos of her meals and she's like making suggestions to RJ like, oh, use a white tablecloth, <laughs> like, and all that, so, yeah. Thomas Eagle says it's 6.20 in the morning. Good morning, you guys, all of you on that side of the world. Yes. Hello from Germany, says uh, Tina. All right, you guys are really from all over. It's so amazing. Yes. Oh, did someone else send up? Yeah. It's from New Zealand. Uh, I see you, Panther. From, from USA, hi, less learning. Thank you guys so much. Really means a lot to us. Um, you know, celebrating last night was a little bittersweet. It was sad because we didn't have Ligaya with us. Um, we miss her so much. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we might get other birds in the future. I'm like just trying to mull over what kind of birds to put in the aviary. Uh, thinking small birds. But we'll see. No rush on that decision. Macaws. OMG. Macaws is a major... Like, any large parrot, guys, is a very major, major commitment. It's like a child. That's the one thing I've learned after keeping the Gaia. It's like a child. Um, I think it's less uh, demanding if you have a pair of parrots. Because... You know, like, the parrots are less dependent on you, but even then, they are such a big, big commitment. Like, you gotta train them, you know, obviously food, you have to interact with them, all of that. Anyways, you guys know all of this, right? Whatever happened to your snake, Green Tree Python? He's here, on the balcony. Yeah, Valentino. I can't wait to move him into the uh, ant room. The ant room is really big, so I'm thinking of having like tanks of not just ants, but like all exotic pets. Um, in case, you know, some guests might be kind of afraid of like a snake or tarantula or whatnot. We'll keep all the scary pets in one big ant room. Yeah. Any plans on the comedy channel? Um, what do you mean? Like television? Uh, in terms of television work here in the Philippines, yes. Uh, this month, I believe we're scheduled to do another television commercial. Happy to announce that we were, uh, what's it called? Resigned? Renewed. We were renewed for our endorsement, our product endorsement with Diatabs, which is Unilab, which is uh, like a diarrhea medicine. So we'll be shooting another television commercial for that to be aired online and throughout the Philippines on television, yes. So really excited about that and big, big thank you to the Unilab family for trusting me. This is the third year they've, um, they've uh, gotten me as their endorser, so I'm really happy about that. Yes. Christina from Palmerston North. Where's Palmerston North? You guys are from all over. Are there new parodies? Yes, new parodies will be coming up. Uh, the comedy channel was really in uh, hibernation this year because, I mean, COVID just threw a wrench into our machine. I couldn't meet with my team. I couldn't record in a recording studio, you know, like, it's just, it was so hard. Our, we couldn't interact with anybody. So we uploaded the stupid cough uh, parody which was a parody about COVID back in March. And then after that, we went into hibernation, like total lockdown. So um, now that things are kind of getting back to normal, like not really, but we're starting to go out again and work. Uh, yeah, more parodies are coming again. What song should we parody? Let me know. What artists should we parody? Yes. Are you planning on watching any other shows with RJ? Well, yeah, this year, um, I'm hoping uh, Raised by Wolves season, season two comes out. Can't wait. Um, have you guys watched Raised by Wolves? Ha we have not watched television for years. The only time we usually get to watch TV, guys, is when we're on the plane. 
But yeah, so looking forward to that. What TV show should we get into? We should probably even get like a Netflix account. We don't have a Netflix account. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. So Disney Plus. Yes. OMG. There are so many good shows on Disney Plus. I highly recommend, guys. Willow. Do you guys know the movie Willow? The best. Go check it out. Lucifer. There's a show called Lucifer. Oh. <gasps> Is it about the devil? Is it scary? Guys, the, the only show I've ever watched on Netflix were two episodes of um, Black Mirror. And I was traumatized, guys. I don't know if it's because it's been like 10 years since I've watched television. But I am not like, I'm, I'm not desensitized to like that kind of weird mental, mental scariness. Like I couldn't, I couldn't function. I was in the shower thinking about Black Mirror and it like messed me up for like a good week. I don't like, like I don't even like watching horror movies because I, I like nature shows. <laughs> I like feel good movies, you know? Anyways, there's a Filipino based movie on Disney. Oh, cool. Jim Henson, the Crystal, of course, yes. Now we're talking, that's classic. Labyrinth, do you guys know Labyrinth? Ah, oh, best movie ever. Big Bang Theory. Oh, I love Big Bang Theory. I've seen a few episodes on the plane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Raphael says, do you read, whose comments do you read the most? I try to read as many as we can. Um, and you know, to be honest, sometimes we are so busy or I'm so busy that some of the vlogs I don't actually get to watch until it like goes live. Um, so the way it works is we send our footage over to Jaya, Jaya edits it and then sends it to us as like a hidden video and we approve it. But sometimes I don't get to watch it. RJ watches it. And so I actually see it with you guys when it's up. And so that's, I, I love watching the vlogs with you guys. Yeah. Don't change the format, says Raphael. Oh, uh, I know, I know, I, I do want to keep them daily vlogs too. Like a part of me wants to keep doing this. But then there's a practical side, <coughs> which is, which RJ is, more, he, RJ is part of like the practicality side of things. And me, I'm more of the like creative and like idealistic side. And ideally, it would be awesome if we could, you know, upload these daily vlogs morning to night. You know what I mean? Like we've always been doing. But the practical side of it is our channel can grow bigger and we can reach a greater audience if we invest in quality over quantity. So that's why. I'm not sure. What happened to the rhino beetles? Okay, so you're from AC family. Rhino beetles died. They only live for like one season. They're like, they're basically like mantises. They just live for a year and then they die. Yeah. Watch Bohemian Rhapsody. It's cool. I love that movie. Also saw it on the plane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? We watched Bohemian Rhapsody on the way to LA last year and then on the way back we watched lady gaga star is born right i remember i remember that watch stranger things okay i think we will yes greatest showman saw that on the plane as well all the movies you guys are mentioning we've watched on the plane yeah this last year was the least we've ever traveled did we even fly last year i don't remember we did not fly last year we can't yeah we did Wow, that's the most... Guys, like, for those of you who've been following us for a while, we were always traveling in an airplane at least once every two weeks. You know, for work um, and to travel because part of these vlogs were for traveling um, to take you to really cool places that maybe some of you might not have seen or been to or experienced. Uh, and so we would always book... Um, 
travels, but last year we didn't get to. Uh, it was a nice change, I guess. Any plans to travel this year? If so, where? Uh, I don't know. Where? Oh my gosh, but we would need to get the vaccine, I think, guys. No, and with, I, within Philippines, yes. Yeah, within Philippines, yes. I could go to Canada and get the vaccine, but RJ would not be allowed to go because Canada is not allowing tourists. And you might not be able to come back. And I might not be able to come back. Oh, gee! The, the ban entry, so some foreign nationals and tourists. Yeah, can you imagine if all of a sudden I, if we, I fly back, I'm like, okay, RJ, I'll see you next week. And then they ban Canadians flying into Philippines because there's like a new strain, you know what I mean? Don't want to risk that. And I don't want to get the vaccine if RJ's not getting the vaccine. Yes, there's a new strain, says Andre. Yes, I know. Uh, let's just keep praying, guys. Anyway, um, this live stream is going on super long now. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. It's back as regular programming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wish you all a happy new year, guys. Say happy new year, Cypher. Yes, happy new year, Scythe. Say happy new year. <laughs> um, lots of fun things are coming up. If you saw yesterday's vlog or two days ago's vlog, you saw that there's a dog that was given to, you know, the, I guess our team, the workers working on the house. And this dog, like, essentially grew up with the workers and is now pregnant. And one of the babies is coming to us. So we already have, like, a dog coming. Um, and then, so that's coming up. Uh, Billy, our goat, is still uh, waiting to move to the Mobuhai Squad Farm. Um, and yeah, there's just so much ahead this year that we're looking forward to experiencing with you guys. All right, guys, so uh, we'll see you later. Thank you so much, and we love you. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, guys. Happy Boys New Year. Squad. Bye.